Well, here we are. So the other day you saw me with my maiden voyage on my brand new 2019 Ranger 521L powered by Mercury. But what I thought I'd do today, something we haven't done in a few years, and that's walk around my new boat and talk about it. What am I running? Why am I running it? How do things work? And let you see the nitty gritty of uh, what a tournament boat looks like. You can look across here with a single console boat. I've got lots of legroom here that Ranger's given me. And this is a long boat. It's uh, 21.9 so there's plenty of room super wide beam so the front deck is like running an aircraft carrier uh, as we walk to the back we've got lots of storage this boat has great storage opportunities and uh, <clears throat> the battery box has ample room once again my uh, lithium pros lithium batteries I've got a 36 volt lithium trolling motor battery and I've got two 12 volt uh, lithium batteries that control the entire rest of the boat uh, interesting feature here that this will be my second year running is the Sack Caddy uh, Livewell weigh-in system. So I just pop this out of here and uh, when it's time to weigh in a tournament I pull out my back plug like so wherever the seat post goes push that in there and my, my weigh-in bag hangs up here and pumps the water into the bag. Gives me hands-free operation to get into my live wells which also are ample and well lit this year really happy for that and you notice i am running the v2 live well vents by new pro products this is my uh, second year with them and coming from arizona and now living in alabama i can appreciate uh fish care and how important it is in uh hot weather uh these vents really solve a lot of problems of course the, the big the big moment this year was uh mercury's announcement of the the new motor so i do have the new mercury pro xs 250 yep it's the four stroke and yes it's a beast uh the middle range power is outstanding it's very quiet i'm still going through the break-in uh, i got about three more hours to go on that and i'm looking forward to really giving it a workout next week uh this year i'm running a full 15 foot talon uh really like the the added five feet uh that it picked picked up for me um They've been, they've been flawless as I'm breaking things in and, and working things out. Of course, I'm also running um, a hydraulic jack plate to give me added stability in rough water and to tweak it and get some high-end high end speed. Um, another cool feature on these talons is, is the work lights they're offering. Uh, they have four settings, blue and white, and I found this to be very useful. Um, real happy with that feature, which I wasn't too clear on. So as I'm coming around to, the, uh, to where the brain center is here, uh, one of the really, really cool things that I added on this boat this season were these graph covers. They're, they're from a company called K&K &K Customs in New York. And I tell you what, for, for what we all pay for our graphs and our graph covers, uh, these things are impressive. They hydro coat these graph covers in any color or any pattern you want, and it really sets off your boat. And it looks great, it's clean, it's scratch resistant, it doesn't get grimy and gray like those white covers do from, from the manufacturers. Really happy about that. This year I've also decided to run an iPad. And somebody said, you know, you got two graphs, what the heck do you need an iPad for? Um, I, I want the iPad so I can get on, on Google Earth. Uh, I found that Google Earth is becoming more and more of an asset for me uh, in my fishing, especially with all the traveling that I do. And this year I just decided rather than having it flying around the, the console by my feet, I've just put in a life proof case and had the shop guys mount it on this mount. It's not in the way of any of my controls. Real happy with that. The other interesting feature that I can do with a quick workaround from Apple and the DirecTV app, if I'm just sitting around fun fishing, I can run my DirecTV app through my graph and I can have two football games going on or a baseball game. That's pretty cool, pretty cool feature. Um, of course, this boat has the, uh, the paddle trim for the trim motor and of course the paddle for the, uh, the hydraulic jack plate. Uh, both great features uh, with the intent of being keeping two hands in the wheel for safety. And of course, there is a hot foot down there as well. Uh, a couple of the other exciting features on the boat this season, I've gone with the, the blue LEDs all the way around. Uh, I had the shop guys put them on a dimmer switch for me. Of course, these aren't running lights, but they sure come in handy when you're trying to get, get together in the morning and, and it's still dark outside and uh, found them to be very useful. Um, as you move towards the front of the boat, you'll see just how large this deck is. It's the, by far the widest deck I've ever fished on. Uh, in just a few hours that I've been out on it as I'm breaking in, I've found that 
I have so much more room to work with and uh, really look forward to that in a tournament environment where I've got to chasing fish all over. This year I'll be running the Ultrex again and uh, I ran it for the first time last year and really, really love that trolling motor. Uh, it'll save you in rough water, it'll hold your spot and really you, you can't beat it. Uh, for what's in the market. I also opted to have my talons put on a, a foot pedal. Uh, coming from Power Pole to Minn Kota, I was just comfortable with the foot pedal operation <coughs> and really wanted uh, to not have to relearn or have something hanging around my neck. Of course, this year I'm also running my Hydra Wave again. Uh, I really find that in certain types of fishing that Hydra Wave is a def definite advantage. And you'll see the, the double bunk graph up here. Somebody says, oh my gosh, he's running Lawrence and Garmin. Well, I'm not taking money from either of those companies. So I went with the best of both worlds. Uh, I've got a 16 inch carbon here and I've got a 12 inch Garmin here. The real surprise is when you come around to the trolling motor and you say, what in the heck does he have all over that trolling motor? Guess what? I got the carbon 16 I've got pan optics and of course the new Garmin live scope. I have the best of both worlds and I put it all together with the Bass Boat Technologies uh, mount here. This thing's very, very solid. Uh, I haven't gotten to really bust out in rough water because of the, the new boat being broken in. But I can tell you these graphs have been solid. I've run with the covers on to kind of give it a test. It's very, very solid. So the Ultrax is holding what, what my shop guy says is uh, the most stuff that anybody's ever seen on a trolling motor. It's got everything. I'll tell you what, this little Garmin Live Scope, it's going to be a big, big, make a big splash in 2019. All right, so here we are up on the deck of the new Ranger 521L, my new boat for next season. And you know, I'll give you some more things that I've tweaked and then, of course, point out some nice, really nice things that Ranger have done for this very special boat, the L series. Uh, one of the things that I did and added uh, this season is I added this tray where I can plug my cell phone in. I'm a music guy. When I'm up fishing by myself, I like to have some music on. And I plug my phone into this and I can run my iTunes off my graphs. It's great. Um, my graphs also have serious satellite weather and radio. Uh, the satellite radio is nice sometimes, especially for the news. But if you just want to listen to a playlist and not get interrupted by serious commercials, uh, this is the way to go. I've got speakers here that the shop guys put in. Uh, we, we looked around for days where to put those speakers. But the Lorenz speakers with this huge foam body really give the stereo a really nice boom. Some of the nice features that the that, that Rangers put in this year. This is an interesting little storage area here. And of course, uh, typical Ranger, lots of, of pre-allocated space for tools. Cooler space here and cooler space here or additional storage. Um, again, this boat has, because it's so large and so wide, the storage possibilities are endless. This year, I'm, I'm trying to keep my tackle all in one spot. As you can see, I've got myself organized. Now I just need to go do some fishing after I get this broken in. But there is a lot of tackle in there. Uh, I can't even count how many boxes are in there, probably well over 30. And uh, run nice and sturdy. All the compartments are all lit with a simple uh, push button on the, uh, the console. So really excited about being able to carry more tackle this year because of the, the ample storage uh, in this boat. And you can see they've, they've given us more over here as well. Um, soft plastics and some other things here. Uh, just, just a great, great storage ability uh, in this boat. And of course the rod locker holds more than enough uh, of my Fitzgerald fishing rods. Uh, to take me wherever I need to go and whatever type of uh, fishing I need to do. One of the other really neat components of this boat is that all of these compartments have interior fans so that if you get wet, you can hit a button on your console and get your gear dried out, get your rod lockers dried out. Super handy to have that feature uh, uh, this, this season. So we've walked you around the, the entire brand new 2019 Ranger 521L that I'll be running this year. Showed you some really neat components, some that I've thought up, some that Ranger just went way out of their way and did some really neat things with his boat. Uh, but this by far is the most dynamic, efficient, 
largest piece of equipment I've ever fished on. I'm really looking forward to an exciting season, but I wouldn't have gotten this far without the help of a bunch of people, and I need to say thanks to a few key people. Uh, thanks to the team at Bolted Spine Designs. Uh, their wrap is by far the finest wrap. I've had things wrapped for four or five years now, trucks, boats, uh, coolers, you name it. Uh, this wrap job by Bolted Spine Design out of Tulsa, Oklahoma is fantastic. Uh, no seams, uh, just, just re a really clean, clean piece of work. Really, thank you to them. Also, thanks to the trolling motor shop in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Uh, Cody and his team did an amazing job. They tell me it's the biggest rigging job they've ever done. Who knows how much wire they ran. But I can tell you that all the wiring is clean, the battery box is spotless, and all of this extra aftermarket stuff from mounts to graphs to you name it, uh, they did a heck of a job. So thanks to the trolling motor shop in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. So that's, that's the look at uh, the new boat for this season. I can't wait to get out in the water. We'll see you out there.